Harleys are, are HO scale size, and they are very nicely detailed, as you can tell, and they're, like, they, like I said, they're nicely done. Now, as you can see, these trolleys are HO scale size, and I hate to say it, but they are very nicely detailed. They do have some separately applied details on them, but most of the details are molded in. Okay, now let's get to the detailing, starting with the green trolley. Okay, here's a look at the green trolley. As you can see, the detail is very nicely done. Got nicely done doors on both ends and on both sides. And you got silhouettes of people in the windows here. And you got separately applied pantographs here, which is nice. And on either end of the trolley, there's a there's a headlight right here. And right above it is a number. Got nicely done windows. You got this right here. Here's a closer look at one of the sides of the trolley. And as you can see, there's silhouettes of people in the windows. It's, that's a nice touch. Here's a look at the top. As you can see, we got the pantographs right here on the roof. Got nice detail on the roof itself, which is nice. And here's a look at the underside of the trolley. As you can see, there isn't much detail. But it's, but it's very nicely done. Okay, now it's transfer from this trolley to the cable car. Now as all of you rail fans know, this is a model of a San Francisco Municipal Railway cable car. And as you can see, it's very nicely detailed. It looks like it's got a lot more detail than the green trolley I showed earlier. Very nicely done. On the front of the cable car, as you can see, we've got a we've got a headlight right here. We got this right here. We got nicely done, nicely painted window frames here. We got nice detail all over the place. Here's a look at the top of the cable car. As you can see, we've got a nicely done hand painted bell here. We've got these right here, which are separately applied, which is a nice touch. And got nicely done roof itself. Here's a look at inside the front portion of the cable car. As you can see, we got nicely done seats here. We got nicely done painted crew figure here, which is the driver of the car. It's a, that's a nice touch that they added. And on either side of the cable car, you got nicely done steps here, which is a nice touch. Here's a look at the rear portion of the cable car. As you can see, it's very nicely done here. Very nicely painted here on the sides. Got nicely done steps here. Got nicely done grab irons here. Got nicely done rear right here. Very nicely done. Here's a look at inside the cable car. You can see the seats are very nicely done. Which is a nice touch. And here's a look at the underside of the cable car. It doesn't look for, like much, but got four four roll wheels that's here. Which is a nice touch that they added. Now, unfortunately, neither of these two trolleys have motors, which is a bummer. And they can either be they can either be operated by hand or pushed with a with an engine. Here's a look at the attractive box that the two trolleys came in. As you can see, it's nicely done. This looks like a classic look here. You got the green trolley here and the cable car right here. It's very nice. Okay, now let's see if we can take these two trolleys out for a spin.
it up for this review video. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the spins I took these two trolleys out for. And they might have these trolleys available on eBay. And if they do, and if you weren't thinking about planning on purchasing one of these trolley packs, it might be now. Anyway, I am Toby Pazman, a proud owner of these two trolleys, and I will see you next time.